thus bringing to a decisive end the over half century of imposed foreign domination of this holy apostolic church in matters of doctrine, liturgy, and administration. Together with you, I bless the memories of those true sons and daughters of the Holy Apostle Thomas. May God grant them paradise and eternal delight in his heavenly kingdom. Would that this 360th anniversary day mark the end of attacks on the only true and holy orthodox faith. But in fact, this anniversary day only serves to remind us that such attacks continue. The old historic specter of foreign and heterodox enemies of truth, which are easily recognizable by their now far too familiar tactics, have been joined by more and more subtle adversaries of truth. Modernism, secularism, sentimental humanism, political correctness, humanism, and relativism. What is required of 21st century sons and daughters of the church is to emulate the bravery and unequivocal determination of the heroes of the Kuhn Cross so that we too may defend, preserve, and proclaim the truth of the church against which our Savior promised the gates of hell would never prevail. And for us Orthodox Christians, truth is not an idea, a teaching, a philosophy, nor even a theological definition. For us, truth is a person, the second person of the holy, consubstantial, and life-giving Trinity, the incarnate Son and Word of the unoriginate Father, the truth is our Lord and God and Savior and Redeemer and King and Master, the Theotokos, Jesus Christ. He who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by me. And he who said, he shall know the truth, me. And the truth, I shall set you free. It was to that one and only salvific truth, Jesus Christ, that the heroes of the Kuhn Cross, 360 years ago this very day, pledged themselves. And to that one holy Catholic and apostolic church, the very body of Christ, the Holy Orthodox Church, your holiness, your eminences, very reverend and reverend fathers, reverend deacons, venerable monks and nuns, esteemed and honored guests, brothers and sisters in Christ, I bring fraternal greetings and heartfelt felicitations on this festive day. Together with you, I pay homage to and glorify the memory of the heroes of the Kuhn Cross. And now standing with you, I hold fast to the ropes of the Kuhn Cross, pledging to remain steadfast and true to that glorious church that has not spot or wrinkle or any such thing. By your prayers, your holiness, and my brothers and sisters in Christ, and at the intercessions of the most holy mother of God, of the holy, glorious, and all honorable Apostle Thomas and of all the saints, may we all stand fast in the conviction of that oath all the days of our lives. Again, a very happy feast. Amen.
place you may be unsafe and no exaggeration at all whatsoever. When your guys said that you knew about the corona cause of, we never thought that this would be this prolific and profound. So as we begin, this is a blessing and we would consider this as the forward deliberation that your grace has done as a mission statement of, our, of this year of celebration. We welcome our the mission statement writer, we will share publish on the IEP and the Sankara the Lord are in if possible. Uh, His Holiness the Catholicus would like in appreciation to our church, uh, honoring your grace's presence. His Holiness the Catholicus would like to present a medal to your grace at this occasion.
Okay. 